start recording. Okay, so hi Jennifer. Thank you for doing this today. Um, um, Jennifer, you you spoken previously about how you you yourself have experienced anxiety and panic attacks. Um, mm -hmm. Are there any coping mechanisms or advice that you could give to anybody who may be um, experiencing the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's it really is different for everyone. But like things that help me personally is like I always like there's a thing called like negative it's called a gnash it's like a negative automatic thought and they can happen when you have anxiety attacks and for me what I find the best thing is to do is to write down the thought and then like make it a mind map and kind of go off each thought and be like okay well I'm saying this but like is this actually realistically going to happen and it, I just break, basically break it down the thought to the point that there's nothing left of it so I can just it kind of just helps me to kind of put that to bed and in like physically then I find that if I have panic attacks I get really cold and like really shivery so I find that it's really important to like always make sure that I have like a jumper handy or like you know a warm cup of tea try drink some water try drink some tea try just wrap myself up and make sure that I'm surrounded by people so that I'm not alone and going through it and I always make sure as well if it does happen that I openly say I'm having a, I'm having an anxiety episode I'm having a panic attack just so people are aware and just so that they can kind of not smother me but just so that they're it's just so basically it's a good support it's nice to have be to have that kind of support around you so I suppose my three tips would be try to write it out and dissect it and um, make sure physically as well that you're like warm that you're comfortable that you're you make yourself as comfortable as possible and thirdly would just be to make sure you talk about it when it happens and um what have you been doing during the lockdown to um to get through to bolster, bolster your mental health? Um, so yeah, like I, I love exercising. I think exercising is something that hugely, is very important in the lockdown and not even like posting all like, I see people posting so many selfies in their gym gear and they're like a size two and like, and like doing like two squats and that's it. And they're just gonna post about it. Like that's not what it is. It's literally 20 minutes walking, go out for a walk, walk to the end of your lane and back, walk around your state, go for a jog just do any bit of physical activity for 30 minutes and I find that it really helps to clear my head and um, I also like make sure I keep in touch with my friends like loads like it's really important I'll FaceTime them every couple of days I'll ring my boyfriend you know more or less every night I'll talk to my mom every second day like just really just conversation is really important it's really important to keep that going and um, and as well what else am I doing I just kind of just not putting any just trying not to put too much pressure on myself really like we're all like it's a pandemic like we're literally in a, a global emergency so like the last thing we need to be doing is putting so much pressure on ourselves jennifer you uh you promote a lot of uh body positivity on your instagram uh what what influenced you to do that i suppose i was just so sick of seeing like I just I, I just think Instagram and social media in general is just really it, we've just been brainwashed into thinking that it's okay to like to just um I suppose the word I think we kind of expect everyone to like have this perfect body and like look a certain way and stuff. That's definitely been influenced by social media, and I was just so so sick of it. Um, like it doesn't make anyone feel good about themselves. You know, I think the importance of body positivity like and self-love they're definitely very much in combined and I think that sorry I don't know if you can hear that oh my god there's builders in our house um <laughs> but oh, I wrong. think that I think that um I just think that self-care and, and mental health are very much combined as well and body positivity how we look on, if we, how we're going to feel on the out, inside is going to be portrayed on the outside and if we feel good about ourselves on the inside it's definitely going to show on the outside and no matter what you look like I think that beauty really does come from within and I think that if you feel that and if you express that you're going to look beautiful on the outside no matter what your shape no matter what your body size um I think I'm ranting now but the, what, what influenced me was just I was sick of I was just sick of how what what's the, what Instagram and social media has become and I just want to change that so sorry um, so you obviously inspire a lot of people through your instagram i know since i've discovered your instagram the stuff that you put up definitely inspires me but i suppose the my question would be who inspires you in that whole sphere Ooh. okay 
I have a couple. Um, so um, definitely Lizzo. Lizzo was absolutely second class. Her music and her body positive, everything. We love a bit of Lizzo. Um, who else? Uh, there's a woman who is a reporter for Hello Magazine. And you usually think that people in Hello are really like not nice people. But she is amazing. Her name is Alex Bright. Um, she's a beauty and makeup editor there. And she posts so much body positivity stuff. Uh, Jessie King as well, who's a British uh, presenter and stuff. Roz Purcell. We stan, mega stan. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone else. Like for me, they would be the main people that I just look at and I'm just like, oh my God, you're amazing. And like, I think, I think seeing that definitely feeds off me and I'm just like, okay, I want to be like this, but for younger people and for Irish people. And yeah, so those people would definitely, definitely inspire me. Um, my last question um, for you is, what's one thing you're excited to do or excited about when the whole lockdown is over and everyone's safe to go and do whatever see my mom and see my sister i haven't seen them since march 23rd so that's that's over two months that's a long time i haven't seen my boyfriend so I just wanna, yeah just, I, just wanna, I just wanna see my friends and my family and my boyfriend and yeah as that's well. that's i think that's what everyone wants and everyone needs right now but um, that's it all we can do until then is just keep on surviving and try to take care of ourselves you know yeah, exactly. So thank you. Thank you so much for doing this, Jennifer. You're amazing and your answers were amazing. And just so thank you so much. So. Thanks.